Hello and welcome to another slide video in the Foundation series and today we're going to look at voltage, current and resistance and this is all around um, Ohm's law. So uh, these are the items that we've been looking at in technical basics. We've covered basic symbols and diagrams, we've covered multipliers, particularly milli, kilo and mega and the units that we need for the Foundation course. We've had a quick look at conductors and insulators, and then today we're looking at voltage, current, and resistance. Let's have a quick look at the syllabus. 3B3 says, recall that resistance is the opposition to current flow. Recall the relationship between potential difference, brackets voltage, current, and resistance. V equals I times R, I equals V divided by R, and R equals V divided by I. And we'll be looking at those formulae in a minute. Calculate the unknown quantity given the numerical value of the other two. So just a quick reminder then, we must have a circuit for current to flow. When the circuit is closed, electrons flow from negative to positive. This is in electron current flow. We consider also that conventional current flow flows in the opposite direction. And once again, there are some background videos giving the historical perspective on why that's the case. So, if we take uh, that circuit and we replace the pictorial items with the symbols that we learnt in, I think, um, 3A, um, the symbols, you need to remember 10 symbols for the foundation course, and one of them is a cell, and the cell has replaced the picture of the cell that was there before. We can replace the uh, switch there with a switch symbol, and the lamp will replace with a resistor. We haven't replaced it with a lamp um, because we're not particularly interested in the light-emitting qualities of the incandescent lamp, we just want to have some resistance in the circuit. And this then forms what we can call the simple circuit. And we've showed the switch closed there, shown the switch closed there. Now across the cell we'll have some voltage, and that voltage will drive a current around the circuit. And I've shown conventional current, it's flowing from plus, which is the long bar on the cell to minus, so it's going clockwise. And that current is flowing through and being opposed by a resistance, because resistance is the opposition to current flow. And if you remember, we had in one of the previous videos a little cartoon graphic where there's Mr. Voltage and he's pushing the current around the circuit and the uh, resistance is coming in and try trying to squeeze off the current. It's opposing the current flow. So there we have the animation there, showing the flow of current around the circuit. Now, we can put in some more labels here. Uh, let's use some abbreviation. We can say that the voltage, the amount of voltage, is V volts. And the amount of current is I amps, and the amount of resistance is R ohms. So this V, I, and R, these just replace numbers. For example, it could be 2 volts, 10 amps, and 6 ohms. But because we don't know the values, we just replace them by letters. So V volts, I amps, and R ohms. And the, this leads us to our first equation. I equals V over R. What this is saying here is that the current is the voltage divided by the resistance. You can see that the greater the voltage, the more the current, because that is on the top of the fraction, the fraction being V over R. And we call the top of the fraction the numerator. We call the bottom of the fraction the denominator. We don't need to know that for the foundation course, but um, it's a good way of uh, talking about it. 
So if the numerator in a fraction increases, then the value of the fraction increases. But if the denominator of a fraction increases, the value of the fraction decreases. You can see this, for example, with a half, 1 over 2. If we increase the numerator and we make it 2 over 2, then the value of the fraction has become 1, so it is increased. However, if we start again at a half, but we increase the denominator to 4, then we've increased the denominator, but the value of the fraction has decreased from a half to a quarter. So this equation is telling us that the more volts you've got, the more current, but the more resistance you've got, the less current. And this fits in with what we know. In a way, this is just like another set of equations that we use in our daily life. The speed equals distance over time example. So we can say speed equals distance over time, or speed times time equals distance, or uh, time equals distance over speed. If you like, there are three forms of the same equation. And similarly, with Ohm's law, we can say that the voltage is the current times the resistance, and we can say the resistance is the voltage divided by the current. They're all saying exactly the same thing. But the subject of each formula is different. The formula is simply rearranged to make V the subject of the formula in the top one, I the subject of the formula in the middle one, and R the subject of the formula in the bottom one. Now, um, a good way of being able to uh, remember these three equations, or three formulae, or three arrangements of the same formulae, formula, should I say, is to use a triangle, and that's what's recommended in the RSGB book Foundation Now. And if you construct a triangle like that, with V on the top, I and R on the bottom, then whatever you want the subject of the formula to be, you simply cover up with your hand. So let's take the first one. If we cover up the V, then you can see on the bottom, all that is left is I and R, and they're on the same level. So below the triangle, we can write the formula V equals I times R. We can do the same thing by covering up the I. Now we've got a V above an R, V over R. So we can write the formula I equals V over R. And then finally, we can make R the subject of the formula by covering up the R, and we have V over I. So we can write the formula down R equals V over I. Now, some people find it easier simply to remember the three formula, and as you work through the intermediate and the advanced course, you become so familiar with this, it's no longer necessary to use the triangle. It sticks in your memory. But for the foundation course, what we recommend is that when you go into the exam room and when you're given your paper, um, you can write on the back of the answer sheet, that's okay, and with a pencil, simply sketch out this um, uh, triangle, and um, then you'll be able to reproduce these three versions of Ohm's Law uh, fairly easily. Let's have a little look at an example with some numbers. There we are. I've sketched on the back of my answer sheet, VIR, and this is the question. What is the current in the simple circuit? Well, I can see I've got 2 volts and 10 amps, I beg your pardon, I've got 2 volts and 10 ohms, and I've got I amps, so I is what I need to find out. So I cover up I with my hand or finger, and that leaves a V over R. So I can write down the equation I equals V over R. I is now the subject of the formula. Well, I can fill in the values for V over R. 
it's 2 volts over 10 ohms. So there, I put that into my calculator, or do it in my head, and I've got I equals 0 0.2 amps. So what we're saying here is in a simple circuit, with 2 volts and 10 amps, the current will be 0.2 amps. Let's use the same uh, figures, but except we'll double the resistance. We'll take the 10 ohms, cross it out, and make that 20 ohms. And in our calculation, we'll cross out the 10 and make it 20. And that gives us an answer, or a new answer, of 0.1 amps. So you can see there that doubling the resistance has halved the current. And remember that resistance is the opposition to current flow. So resistance is the opposition to current flow, and we double the resistance and the current halved. Let's have a look at a, another example here. What is the resistance this time? Well, in this simple circuit, we are told that the cell is 2 volts and the current is 1 amp. How much resistance is needed for that to happen? We cover up the R and write the equation. R equals V over I. Let's fill in the values. We know V is 2 and uh, I, the, the amp amperage, is 1. So it's 2 over 1 and therefore it's 2 ohms. And up until now I've been writing out the word in full, OHMS, but now I'm using the abbreviation R equals 2 ohms. And that's, there's a sign omega. So let's have a look at another one. What is the current? Well here, we've know, we know we've got 2 volts and 10 ohms. Let's see what the current is. I equals V over R. It's 2 over 10 is 0.2 amps. And this is simply repeating what we did before. On this one, we're saying, what is the potential difference? Or the voltage across the battery. And it, the words potential difference and voltage, in this case, are interchangeable. The potential difference means the difference in potential between the two terminals of the battery. So we know that there is 0.5 milliamps flowing around the circuit, and we know that there are 10 kilo ohms. So let's use the hand to cover up V. We don't know what V is, it's IR. So there's a formula, V equals IR. So first of all, we have to write down 0 0.5 milliamps. Now you'll remember from units and multipliers that we need to go back to the base units. I can't put it in a 0 0.5 because that would be amps. I need to write it in as uh, 0 0.5 milliamps. So I use the decimal point hopping, and I need to hop three places to the left. That means putting some padding zeros in front of the um, 0 0.5 and hopping the decimal place. And if you try it, you'll get 0 0.0005 amps. That's gone back to the fundamental unit. In this case, it's an SI base unit, the ampere. So 0 0.005 amps. And we need to multiply that by ohms. So we can't write in 10 because it's 10 kilo ohms. And 10 kilo ohms means we hop the decimal place three places to the right. In other words, 10,000 ohms. And if you put that into your calculator, well, you think, well, that's a strange figure for a single cell. And indeed, 
it's unlikely to be a sim single cell, so perhaps we should have replaced the symbol with the symbol for a battery, that is, two cells with dots between them. So going through the syllabus one more time, recall that the resistance that resistance is the opposition to current flow. Recall the relationship between potential difference, otherwise called voltage, current and resistance. And you should be able to generate the uh, formula V equals IR, I equals V over R, and R equals V over I. And calculate the unknown quantity given the numerical value of the other two. So all of the questions in the foundation exam will require you to work out the missing quantity. So you will use the triangle, uh, be able to reproduce that, and whichever one is missing, cover up with your hand, and the formula will be there for um, calculating the answer. So they will either give you the voltage and the current and ask you to work out the resistance, or they will give you the current and the resistance and ask you to work out the voltage, or they'll give you the voltage and the resistance and ask you to work out the current. So this is a two from three, a classic two from three uh, type of question. We'll be going through and practicing quite a few of these in class, so if you found this a little bit difficult, don't worry, uh, it'll all become plain. So thank you very much for that. Um, and in the next uh, video, it's um, 3E, we'll be looking at power because as we've been passing our current through a resistor, um, that has been generating power, which is dissipated as um, in the form of heat.